do you recommend board, boards and beyond and first aid? How do I integrate these? What about Anki? Okay, so look, I've talked about Anki in one of my prior clips, all right? Uh, in terms of first aid and boards and beyond, I'll address that concisely here. Before we get started, let me be an asshole, tell you to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel, bring awareness to it. Share with one of your friends who's prepping for US Millie. Hit the like button. Hit the bell if you want notifications. And find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. And the link is down below. Now let me address the question. So boards and beyond and first aid for US Millie. Look, uh, we could talk about this for 46 minutes. Okay, and you guys are going to have all sorts of tangential side questions. I get it. So number one, I never recommend boards and beyond for anybody. I'm agnostic to it. I'm not for or against it. I'm just merely citing my actions slash behavior as a tutor for nine years. I have never once recommended it. I don't see it as integral. That is not synonymous with you can't use it. I'm not saying that. There are just other priorities. Okay, I've made other clips on this stuff. You need to focus on the NBME exams. You need to focus on QBanks. Okay, that's the core of your prep. Once you have the core in place, let's say you're doing eight hours a day of study with QBanks, NBMEs, my PDFs, okay, from my website. Once you have your core in place, then you can consider external resources such as Sketchy, Pathoma, Boards and Beyond, okay? These resources can all be integrated. There's no problem. It's just you need to have priorities. You don't want to have it be where you're waking up and you're spending like six hours straight going through BMB, okay? That's not what you want to do. That's my view, okay? Some of you will have different views. That's okay. But we're you're watching this clip because you want score augmentation, okay? So you are going to get the highest score possible if you go through the NBME exams, and I've made other content on this, as I just said, 20 through 30 mandatory for step one, and then for step two, all the clinical mastery series material and the NBMEs as well, in addition to having consolidation around QBank. And then after you have your core in place, knock yourself out. Go through external resources like USMLE secrets, boards and beyond if you really insist. Now first aid, okay, because that was part of the initial question. Look, we can't deny the fact that first aid has been a gold standard resource, okay? I mean, life is about alternatives. There's not going to be perfect resources. So I'm agnostic to which resources are good versus bad. I'm just uh, being candid with regard to what's going to get your score up the most. And what I can communicate is that, unfortunately, first aid has become superfluous. An analogy I used a couple times in my other clips is, if you need to know concepts A through F for USMLE, first aid will cover A through M, and then you have to sift through G through M of bullshit and extraneous material just to learn A through F. Okay, so as I said, life is about alternatives. First aid is an excellent resource. Clearly, it's a gold standard text. I even worked for first aid back in 2014-15. I was an author and editor, okay? I repeat that I'm agnostic. If Firecracker were the best fucking resource, I would say so. I don't mention it because it's not. Okay, so when we talk about how to integrate first aid, I if a student is far out from the exam, if you're like 8 to 12 months out, we can consider having you do a pass to first aid. I recommend that for some students. If you are closer to your exam, I don't recommend you doing a strict pass to first aid. You can... Use it as a reference. There are certain strengths to it. For example, you can quickly reference, oh, fuck, what are the aortic arch derivatives again? Let me look up that part in first aid. Oh, the annoying, like, like cleft arch pouch stuff for embryology. Maybe I'll quickly reference that stuff from first aid. It's not mandatory, however, that you're going to do a cover-to-cover -cover pass during your final six months. I don't recommend that for most students because you could spend the final six months, eight to 12 hours a day, doing nothing but QBanks and NBME exams and integrating my high-yield PDFs. Now, now, some students might say, oh, Michael, you're biased, though. You're high-yield PDFs. Like, you know, why would I look at those? Look, I've taken all of the NBME, NBME material offline forms for step one. I've gone through all that material, and I've 
integrated it into PDFs, just the high yield consolidated factoids with my knowledge of tutoring for nine years. Okay, that's what it is. So it cuts to the fucking chase. I remain agnostic with regard to which resources are the best. I came from a place of good intent. So I would not recommend the resources if they weren't ideal. If I made shit resources, I wouldn't recommend them, okay? But they're the best resources. The PDFs are super concise. That's what they are. Subject specific and also mixed, okay? It's all the NBME concepts. It's not superfluous, okay? That's my PDFs. The original question was boards and beyond and first aid, okay? As I said, I never recommend boards and beyond for anybody. And first aid, it's, uh, it's superfluous. You can do a pass of it if you're far out from your cover to cover pass, if you're far out from your exam. If you're closer to your exam, you can annotate into first aid or you can just annotate into my PDFs, okay? And you can reference first aid uh, while you're going through uh, QBanks or if you need remediation. Let's say you suck at neuro or you suck at cardio and you're doing those questions in QBank, you can read the first aid chapters to give yourself remediation, okay? You can go through my PDFs, but I reiterate, you don't need to stress that because you're not doing a cover to cover pass at first aid that you're going to be uh, screwed out of a high score. Okay. There's many ways to prepare. There's many angles of discussion. Okay. So I'm going to keep this clip concise. Nevertheless, I'll make other content. You know, the deal. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel and I appreciate your time. That's it.